For this we need the diodes and two resistors of 2.2 kilo ohm. So let's do the um, resistors first. We have two of them, so we bend them as you do with all the resistors. The, the orientation doesn't matter. We put in one here, R7. Make sure it lays flat on the PCB. That's R7 and R6 is here on the bottom. Two resistors and now 30 diodes. That's D3 and D4 and D9 up to D36. These diodes, um, there are a few that are flat, two of them, D3 and D4 which form together with the resistor an AND gate. So these are bent just like the resistors, but they do have an orientation that needs to fit the board. As you can see there is a stripe on the board and there is a stripe on the diode and they should match. So these are the two diodes that are flat, and the rest is uh, vertical, those are all here. And what we do is we bend the wire where the, on, the, on the side of the, of the bar, the, bla the black ring. And we bend it all the way down below. We put the diode with the diode part on the left where you see the circle. So the pin goes into the square hole on the right and the diode goes into the round hole on the left. And the stripe, the ring, is on top. And we have to do this 28 times. If you're a nitpicker like me, you could again solder one side, then reheat and make sure it's perfectly upright, and then solder the other side. All right, that's all the uh, diodes. So if they're not as perfectly aligned as you would have liked, that's not a problem. There might be a few leftovers, as I said before, 